everyone, so, whoa, 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 whoa. So, hey everyone, really impromptu start to this video. Okay, as I did the intro, I was stupid and actually forgot to mention the most important part of this video, um, and why this video is like, why I'm doing it, I guess. Um, and basically, this video here is a collab with the beautiful Chloe, Bown and Megan. Um, they're both so lovely, their channels are amazing they're both so beautiful and yeah be sure to go and check out their videos and they will be linked in the description boxes their channels and their videos so yeah after you've done watching this be sure to go over and subscribe to them because you won't regret it and yeah that's really all i need to say so scared i got lipstick on my cheek. hey everyone so today i'm going to be filming a really exciting video i personally love these videos so if you can tell by the title i'm filming a summer makeup must-haves drugstore versus high-end so basically i'm going to show you i have different categories like mascara blush and i'm going to show you one high-end and one drugstore and tell you what i think of both and which one i think is better overall and i really like these sort of videos because i like to buy high-end makeup to treat myself but for everyday sort of things i do like to buy drugstore obviously because it is cheaper and yeah i have rambled enough and let's get started with the video okay so as for lips for my drug stores these you can only get hold of in america but these are insane and they are called the maybelline color whispers i have three of these um i have one in pink possibilities one in pinup peach and one in orange attitude and i love all of these so 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 much these are all basically just sort of really sheer glossy moisturizing lipsticks and the packaging too i love and i love the sort of the color contrast of the color and then the silver too they are just amazing and once the gloss wears off it leaves you with a really sort of subtle like stain on your lips which i really like personally and yeah i cannot rave enough about these and they are so affordable in the us um the revlon lip butters are slightly similar but i prefer the color range of these so that's why i chose them and my high end pick are these and i only have minis because my grandparents actually bought me a set of clarins lip products and these are the instant light natural lip perfectors everyone on youtube talks about these and rightly so because they are such sort of beautiful lip products they're like balms and they're quite a glossy consistency and these two colors are stunning this one this nude one is in the shade 06 and the pink one is in the shade 01 so i'm sure they have um more colors than just two but they are so 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 lovely add really long hydration they don't last quite as long like the color as the maybelline ones but yeah overall really lovely products and overall if i had to pick one between the parents and the maybelline i would actually choose the maybelline this time because i do think they are better and of course they're a lot more affordable but the actual quality and consistency of them is a lot better than the Clarins ones even though they're like a fraction of the price. Moving on to blushes, from my high-end category I have another Clarins product and this is their Multi Blush Blusher, Cream Blusher in the shade 04 Rosewood. Is Rosewood the name on Pretty Little Liars? I think it is. Oh my god! It's a really gorgeous consistency, you can lose, you can look. It's like a cream to powder and you can actually use it on your lips which I think looks really nice when you have coordinating blush and lipstick gorgeous really natural everyday pink color that i think would suit quite a lot of skin tones i'm having a really really bad headache and then as for my high street um the packaging of this one actually broke this bit here that's like supposed to go in there but it broke which is really annoying but this is the nyx blusher in peach and this blusher is so beautiful it's a proper proper barbie pink so i don't know why they called it peach because there is no like peach 
to it. It's just such a pretty colour and I think this looks lovely on fairer skin tones. I don't really know about dark skin tones. Fairer skin tones, um, definitely try this one out. Only thing is the packaging, of course, because it broke. And between these two, I think I'd have to go with the Clarins simply because I do think it's more multi-use, which is good, especially for travel if you're going away and your summer holidays. And, and the colour, it's just such a stunning sort of colour about like blinding. Woohoo! And then as for eyes, for high end, I have these. These are beautiful and so, so, so gorgeous. These are the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color, so caviar eye sticks, basically. And what these are is these are little sort of eyeshadow pencils, which you literally just sort of draw all over your, you sort of like wind them up like this, and you sort of draw them all over your eyelid. You either blend them in with your fingers, I blend them in with a Zoeva 227 brush, and they just leave a really beautiful sheer wash of colors. These definitely are more on the sheer side, and you can't really build them up without them looking cakey, which might sound weird for an eyeshadow, but they do go very cakey if you do try and build them up. So they're more of a sheer wash, but I personally think that's perfect for summer because you don't want anything too heavy on your eyes. And yeah, they're so, so, so beautiful and such gorgeous colours too. This one's sort of like a brown one. There's one really sparkly, glittery one, which I wear to parties all the time. A champagne-y coloured one and a sort of a pinky one. It's quite a wearable pink. Um, and yeah, overall these are just so, so, so stunning. And just another little plug, um, Bobbi Brown also do really beautiful like sheer um, cream eyeshadows. And as for drugstore, I have brought up the Maybelline colour tattoos, which I'm sure everyone is familiar with because these are talked about on YouTube so, so, so much, but it is because they are amazing. These are probably the most long-lasting eyeshadows I've ever used. I have the shades Metallic Pomegranate, On and On Bronze, and Pink Gold. My personal favourite is On and On Bronze, and this one's actually drying up a bit. So if you, like, know how to sort of undry it up, because there's still so much product left and I don't really want to throw it away because I have no money at the moment thanks to Beautycon. These are so 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 beautiful. Pink gold is stunning especially in spring. And overall I think if I had to choose between the two I would choose the Maybelline. These are just the most long wearing you can really build them up and I just feel like they're the most versatile and you can do the most with these so yeah it would definitely have to be the Maybelline. As for mascara my one from the drugstore is the Max Factor Clump Defy in waterproof because in summer you might be going in the pool or it's just gonna be a really hot day and your mascara can transfer either up onto your eyelid or below and that doesn't look cute so you want a waterproof because they don't do this is just an amazing mascara I love the shape of the wand to it it sort of like curls your eyelashes as it coats them and it's not clumpy as it says so it's nice for the more sort of like natural days when you want to look like a natural beauty i don't really have much more to say than this and for the high end i have this which is the oh so raved about benefit roller lash the first couple of times i used this i really didn't like it and i was really upset because it is like i think this is around the 20 pound pack 20 pound, 20 pound mark for a mascara which is ridiculously expensive, something that you're going to just put on your eyelashes and take off, um, but the third time, I think it's after it starts to dry out ever so slightly, it's really really good. And overall, if I had to choose between the drugstore and high end, I would choose the high end, simply because I feel like high end mascaras are always the best and it's always worth getting a high end mascara. I know a lot of people feel differently, but I personally Personally think they work the best on my lashes and last but most definitely not least I have highlighters so my drugstore option is this and this is the soap and glory glow all out which is looking absolutely knackered the packaging of this just gets so dirty because it's like hard and it's like almost like breaking if you can see that which is super annoying um, especially as it is quite pricey for drugstore, it is around the 10 or 11 pound mark which is quite expensive for boots. But this is just a gorgeous sort of peachy tone and I also find that if you don't want to wear blush this sort of acts as a bit of a blush because of the peach tone in it. It's like, it's not shimmery, it's more of like a sheen on your cheeks which looks so 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 beautiful. And for high end I have something so painfully expensive that I'm like I don't even, a lot of people couldn't justify 
spending the amount of money on this and neither can I really, um, I still really don't know what was going through my head but this is a Trish McAvoy Illuminating Cream Palette and it basically comes with a cream bronzer which I use as a highlighter when I'm more tanned, a normal, another cream highlighter and underneath a blusher and a loose translucent setting powder. This was over £60, that's all I'm going to tell you, so it was ridiculously expensive, um, but it was so worth it if you're into sort of makeup like this. The thing I'm going to be talking about is this highlighter, so the more sort of champagne-y tone. It's a, quite in your face, it is quite a shimmery, sort of thick, sort of pigment, pigmented highlighter in that it does sort of, it doesn't look like it's natural, it does look like you've got highlighter on. But sometimes I like that, and especially when I want a sort of like a Kim Kardashian sort of bronze, I like that. It's also stunning all over the lid. It does crease, um, so you do have to put a primer, but it just sort of gives you that really gorgeous like wet, sort of glossy effect all over your lid, which I think looks so beautiful, especially in the summer. Um, I always feel like Tanya Burr always has, I'm just really sorry I'm playing with my hair, but it's just not like cooperating. I've always been on the hunt for that sort of gorgeous like wet looking Tanya Burr eyeshadow. She, her eyelids always sort of, I think it's because the shimmer is so fine, makes it look like sort of water particles and it just looks so 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 beautiful and I'm always on the hunt for that and I feel like this is super close if you put it on your eyelids. And overall if I had to choose between drugstore and high end I literally cannot decide because they both do quite different things in that this one is as I said more in your face and this is a lot more natural and I sort of like to change up my makeup every single day and I want different things every single day. I literally couldn't decide. So that is the end of my video. I really 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 hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you'd like to see more of me leave requests and comments in the comment section below and make sure you go and check out the videos because i'm sure they're going to be amazing and i will see you guys really 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 soon and i'm planning loads of really exciting um, and summary videos to film which i'm so excited um, to put up and edit and film and all that stuff and i will see you all in my next video bye